There are two basic modes by which the Church engages the wider society in its mission to build the Kingdom of God, an apostolic mode and a Christendom mode. A Christendom mode arises when the society's imaginative vision is Christian, and the Church has succeeded in deeply influencing the society's narrative and institutions. An apostolic mode is needed when the society's imaginative vision is not Christian, and the faith thus often finds itself at odds with the prevailing culture. Different circumstances in society demand different strategies. In Christendom, the Church's task is centered on the complex work of maintaining and deepening the Christian vision in all aspects of life. The great advantage of such a time is that God's truth is readily available to all, and Christ's presence influences the institutions and overall imagination of the society. But this all comes with a temptation. Following Christ can lose its true character as a great adventure leading to a high destiny, and it can instead be misinterpreted as just a call to be a good and conventional member of society, simply checking off the boxes. In an apostolic time, the Church's main task is to provide an apostolic witness and to establish a counterculture in which a Christian way of seeing and behaving can take root and act as a leaven upon the wider non-Christian world. This describes the life of the Church during the first three centuries, and it has also always been the Church's mode of operation whenever there have been missionary encounters with non-Christian societies. The great advantage of such a time is that the Christian faith tends to be more pure because it is more costly, and the beauty and challenge of the faith stands out more clearly. There are also profound difficulties in such times. It's harder to practice the faith, and many turn away out of fear of persecution or in desire for social prestige. The joy and conquering spirit of the gospel may be obscured by the exhaustion of the constant fight giving rise to defeatism, angry isolationism, and overly rigoristic attitudes. Why is this distinction between the two modes of engagement important today? Though we may not feel the tremors, everything has been shifting under our feet. We have been rapidly moving from a Christendom societal situation to an apostolic one. Many in the Church continue to operate with a Christendom mentality, which may have worked well in a Christendom time, but is a disastrous strategic mistake in an apostolic time. Methods that worked for generations are now likely to fail, and so it's crucial to adjust the ways we see the world, order our institutions, and arrange our common life. Two thousand years ago, Eleven apostles were sent to win the entire world for Christ. They had only a few hundred followers and meager resources, and they were without the normal means and institutions by which to develop a Christian culture. The odds were against them, and they had every reason to despair. But instead, equipped with only the promise of Christ and the conquering spirit of the gospel, they accepted their great commission and they overcame the world. They provide for us the bright image of an apostolic mode of engagement. Let's ask how we, both individually and as the Church, can make the shift. How can we move from a Christendom mode to an apostolic mode? A lot is riding on the answer.